<laughs> what up welcome back to another video guys so this is my third attempt in creating this video first time i went out guess what my uh mic wasn't properly on second time sound quality was shitty for some crazy reason so this is the third time so i hope that third time is a charm um yeah you're probably wondering why there's a huge box in the middle of my garage well guess what there's a bike in there we're gonna build it out psych that's um it's it's a bathtub yeah the wife and i are doing some renovations to the house and um we got finished with the first bathroom and now we're working on the second bathroom so this is like the storage for the tub right now but anyways we are here to talk about today um reasons why i have not been working on my dyna poor little girl right there and my low rider ass right here um We'll get into it in a few minutes. But just to show you, there's a Memphis Shades Road Warrior right here that's sitting to be put on the Dyna. There's a Thrash and Supply Risers right here that's sitting right here to put on the Dyna. Um, and there's a few things that I got to order for this bike right now. Um, but, yeah, let's just hop on the bike and we'll talk about everything. So the weather out here today in Jersey is uh, rainy, off, rainy, off, rainy, off. So... I hope I don't get caught in the rain. If I do, then fuck it. Yeah, cloudy day as you can see. I'm about to, um, I'm actually gonna head over to the new torque shop. We're gonna check that out. Brand new place. Just give you guys a nice little walk around of the bike, right? You haven't seen her in a while. We've been doing a lot of uh, Indian content on here right now. Oh, oh, okay. 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 She's like filthy dirty. Gotta uh, give her a nice wash. Not this weekend because I got a bunch of stuff planned for Easter and with the family and stuff. But next weekend, faux show. Damn visors fogging up on me. This this visor sucks, man. I gotta do the full review of this helmet because this visor completely sucks. It just fogs up on me all day. Um. Which am I going this way? But anyways, let's talk about why I have why I've been neglecting my bikes and why I haven't been doing any uh, installs or anything like that. Um, so let's take it back to a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, when I made the video about me wanting to buy Roglad, right? So that was my biggest thing. I was dead on set on getting rid of one of my bikes. And for a little tad short minute, I thought about getting rid of this bike, and then I had to smack myself in the face. I'm like, dude, I would never get rid of this bike right here. So, uh, my second option was to get rid of the Dyna, just because I, I can't have three bikes. I can't afford this bike plus my Dyna plus the Roglide. The Roglide is thirty thousand dollars. Like, there's no way I was gonna do that. I mean, I could afford it, but it's like I'm gonna be like, you know, nah. I'm not, I'm not doing that to myself. Long story short, and battling back and forth with myself, I took the trip out to Arizona. Um, so if you haven't seen the review video on the new 2022 Indian Chief and the vlogs, I'm actually going to put up another vlog tomorrow, with day two. Um, check that out. Um, they are amazing, tons of fun. Um, you're, you'll definitely get those vlogs, so check that out. Um, but I'm happy that I went out there because I went out there with my head cluttered, uh, not knowing what to do with my current situation about wanting a road glide or whatever, right? Um, and Sedona, Sedona is known for his like spiritual place where you go and cleanse your soul and cleanse your mind and yeah, do stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was that or I don't know if it just, just all fell in place while I was out there talking to Jeff Holt from uh, V2 and Visionary and then everything just fell in place. But I came back and I said to myself, why the hell am I going to get rid of any of my bikes? I love both of them. Um, the Dyna has such a special place in my heart just because the fact that it was so hard for me to get that bike and find that bike the way I wanted it. And I found the bike completely stock, almost brand new, 1,800 miles. And even buying it w w was, was a bit of a hassle. It was, yeah. So it has a lot of history behind it. And I have like a little, not a little, I have a real big connection to it. So there's no way I was, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, so I thought to myself, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I'm always complaining about how, you know, Harley should have like a mini bagger right now. And I said to myself, let me build out my Dyna and do the mini bagger that I want. So 
let's put the FXRT fairing on it. Let's put some big bags in the back and let's finish building everything else to what it, it is supposed to be. And I was happy with that. Like I came back and I thought about everything. I planned everything out. And I'm like, dude, like, why? Like, why did I even think about even getting rid of this bike and even wanting a road glider? I'm just gonna build myself a mini bagger. And then I have this bike here, which I've been kind of neglecting as well. So many people want to see content on this bike, and I just been like, kind of like, leaving her to the side. And it's time, man. It's time we start buying parts for this bike. So there's a ton of stuff that I want to buy for this bike and keep working on it. But that stuff is going to be its own video. I'm going to make a video of everything that I got planned for this bike with new ideas. And I'm going to make a video with everything I got planned for the Dyna. Um, that's going to be its own video as well. I just want to share you guys exactly where I'm going and where the channel's heading with both bikes and possibly a third bike. Um, just not a, not a road glide. Um, so yeah, I made the smart decision. I'm gonna keep my bikes. I'm gonna keep working on my bikes because I mean that's what I want to do, and I know that's what you guys want to see as well. Um, and I miss I miss working on my bikes, man. I miss you know the install videos. I don't miss coming out of pocket and buying stuff, but <laughs> yeah, I miss uh, you know making my bike special my own little way. Yeah, hey, let me tell you guys, it's cloudy today. But at least it's pretty warm out. It's 66 degrees out here in dirty Jersey. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this weather right now. I'm out here with a hoodie and, and that's it. I feel great. No more layers, baby. No more layers. Miss being on this bike, man. Spy shop. Those those things really exist. Like they dead ass have a spy shop there. I wonder what kind of weirdos be walking into that shop. Spy shop. That's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to touch base on you because I know I'm. Some of you guys have been asking me questions about parts and bikes and and why I haven't been putting that type of content up. So I just wanted to share that. Um, once again, if you want to go and if you are interested in seeing the 2022 Indian Chief. Uh, review it's a long video go check that out i posted it up this morning um it's about 40 minutes long but you're gonna enjoy the scenery of that whole video um i was able to literally have that bike all day and i took it in through the through the desert through the canyons in arizona it's a beautiful beautiful place to ride probably probably the nicest roads that i've ever been on and that's probably one of the reasons why you're gonna want to watch that video and why that video is so long um but yeah check that out check the vlog out of me flying out there and then i'm working on the day two vlog which is going to be pretty cool and then the day three vlog which is going to include even more youtubers which i met out there made a lot of new friends made a lot of, a lot of new relationships and um hopefully we're going to get some some future amazing content with uh these uh other youtubers and new fellow friends um so stay tuned and if you want to see more information about that or be more in the loop. Follow me on my Instagram. Is same name as my YouTube channel, MarvelKid87. Um, I'm gonna catch you on the next one, guys. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. <laughs>